Hi, this is Jill from Fabric Garden, and today I wanted to talk about hand embroidery and transferring your embroidery design from the pattern to your fabric. It used to be that most patterns came with hot iron transfers. Very few companies do that anymore. Aunt Martha is one of the few companies that still does hot iron transfers, but most companies you get a piece of paper with a drawn pattern and you have to figure out how to get that onto your fabric. Now, there is a pencil available that you can trace your design onto paper and then use that paper as an iron-on transfer. But most of the time, you are going to need to get this transferred to your fabric. I like to use a light box. It's one of my favorite ways. And I will lay my pattern on the light box and I will use some sort of blue or green tape to tape the pattern down, something that won't damage my pattern. And once I have that tape down, then I can put my fabric or my tea towel or whatever over the pattern to trace it. If you are tracing onto a tea towel, these products have a lot more shrink than regular fabric, so you are going to want to wash and dry your towels before you trace onto them. When it's time to trace, you're going to need to select a marking pencil to trace with. There is no perfect product, but there are there are options. You could trace with a friction pen, which is a type of pen that when you iron it with a hot iron, the ink disappears. That can be an issue when you're tracing for embroidery because sometimes you need to iron your piece midway through and then you would lose all your tracing. But it is an option if you're not going to be pressing your piece at all. The other option is an air erasable pen, and it really depends on where in the country you live. The back of this says that the tracing will last up to three days. Here in California, you might get one day before it disappears. So this would be something to use only if you're going to be tracing doing your stitching right away after you trace. There is also a water soluble pen and it's this uh, Soline Styla has a nice fine blue line. It's, its downfall is that you do have to wet your piece to get it out. So that couldn't be an issue. My very favorite to mark with is the Micron Pigma Pen. I know this sounds a little scary because this is permanent Pigma ink, but these are very fine point and they, that you can cover completely with your embroidery floss or your pearl cotton, so you don't have to worry about getting it out. You just have to be cautious as you trace. And when you're tracing, the trick to using these pens is never to do what I call feathering. So you don't keep moving the pen like this. You can see that you get multiple lines. You just wanna keep the pen moving smoothly and steadily. You don't wanna go and then hold it. You can't see it very well on the paper, but if this were fabric, if you leave the pen in one spot, you will end up with the ink leaching out into the fabric. So just nice smooth movement as you trace. Um, I like to use the 0.01. It's fine, but it's not so fine that I can't see it after I trace. So those are my ideas for tracing. If you don't have a nice light box at home, you could put this on a window and trace, although then you've got to trace standing up, which some pens do not like to write that way. They like to write with the tip down. And 
Um, you could make your own little light box using your so steady table or a coffee table that had glass. There are even ways to use an iPad as a light box. The last method I'm going to mention for transferring your design is a product called TransferEase, and this is a paper that can be run through your inkjet printer. If you do that, it's best to set the ink to a lower ink setting so you're not putting too much ink in. You print it out, the paper peels off the back, it's sticky, and it will just stick right onto your fabric. Again, this product is water soluble. To get this out of your fabric, you will have to soak your piece in warm water. Even the thing about having to soak your fabric, if you had the water soluble or the water soluble paper, is that even a floss that is color fast can still bleed dye. Color fast just means it has been treated and is less apt to bleed, but strong colors like red and navy, hunter green, black, can still bleed a little bit when they get wet. So um, I would be cautious on using any product that required water to remove it if I were working with these darker colored flo flo flosses that were more apt to bleed. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please call Fabric Garden and we will give you a hand with getting that pattern moved over to your fabric. Thank you.